Hello guys, slightly different format for this video, this is a one-off special video and I've got a couple of things that I just want to do, it's going to be a short video, no whiteboard, no theory, no machining, no swarf being cut, nothing like that. This is a bit of a two-pronged two attack video, one is a plea for help and that is for Cliff from Cliff Shed and a lot of you may have already seen what's happened to Paul Cliff but some of you may not so Cliff another creator really nice guy he's been doing this for five or six years now helping other people out with what he does DIY stuff engineering stuff projects and you know a bit like me as a creator puts a lot of time and effort into making videos to entertain you and that's our choice to do that but this is a plea to everybody out there to say it's you know if you can help Cliff out his shed has recently burnt down so that's his little man cave from where he does all his shoots his videos and has his you know um, his sort of me time doing his projects and things like that and anybody who's got a similar setup will know how important that space is so yeah poor old Cliff I, we, we're not quite sure what it is yet probably a battery Chinese battery or something that I think could have started it but he's lost a lot of stuff out of his shed and insurance companies being insurance companies it's doubtful whether they're going to pay anything out and even if they do I would imagine Cliff is still going to be well out of pocket at the end of it because he's not going to get back everything that he's lost so there is a GoFundMe page that's been set up on behalf of Cliff please if you can donate go and visit that and make a small donation if you can uh, not everybody can and I appreciate that if you can't there's other ways you can help go and click on some of Cliff's old videos won't cost you anything he'll get some revenue from that go and click on the adverts that come on his channel he'll get some revenue from that and it'll all help Cliff get back to where he needs to be and more than that go and give the poor guy some moral support he's been in a pretty dark place he's just released another video tonight actually and he's in he's in much higher spirits but as you can imagine he, you know he's lost everything that he's spent years and years working for and building up so he's yeah he's in a he's in a bad way so that's the first thing as i said links in the description to the gofundme page please share this share the gofundme link with other people if you can if anybody's got access to one of the big engineering channels please see if you can get one of them to share the GoFundMe link and you know if everybody who watches my channel and especially one of the big channels donates 50 pence you know that's going to amount to a lot of money that's going to help Cliff get back where he needs to be so this isn't about people digging deep this is about lots of people and spreading the word to help Cliff get back to where he where he should be and where he needs to be so a personal from me, thank you very much for anybody who can do anything like that to help spread the word and you know, it's very much appreciated. And that leads me on to the second thing, having watched Cliff go through that, it's really made me think hard about my own workshop here. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to just, for anybody else who's got a workshop, whether you're doing it on YouTube or whether you're not, it was just a, an opportunity to, to stand back and think what I've done in almost two years that I've been doing this and I've amassed quite some amount of gear in here and it's just made me think oh, hang on a minute that could that could have been me I've got nothing I've got no protection we live incredibly rurally where I live so even if the garage does go up it's going to be 20 minutes half an hour before a fire engine even turns up so if I get a fire in here I've lost everything um, and I thought I'm, I'm, there's things that I must be able to do so what are those things so firstly, obviously, try and unplug everything that you can when you leave your workshop, and I've started doing that. I've started taking plugs out of sockets, and I know that sounds a bit drastic, but from a just from a, a lightning perspective, if you get hit by lightning, we live right on the top of a hill. There's nothing else around us. There's a higher chance that one of the buildings will get struck. If that happens and it gets into the electric system, everything that's plugged into it is toast. So just things like that and just thinking about the safety side of it. So unplugging stuff, not leaving batteries on charge. You know, you've only got to look around. I've got batteries that I leave on charge in here. I've got grinders, grating sparks. I've got oxygen and propane cylinders in here. I've got other 
propane cylinders, I've got you know cartons full of oil. Well, there's probably 40, 50 litres of oil in here. There's a bag full of oily rags from doing stuff. It is, you know, it's a fire waiting to, be, you know, fire waiting to happen. If you look at all the industrial controls that are in place in workplaces like I work in, uh, all of that stuff is a complete no-no. And I've got all of that stuff in here. So I thought, I, you know, I, it really made me stop and think, what can I do? So a bit of research, a bit of help from one or two other YouTubers. And I've come up with this. So I'll just show you it. Hopefully I don't drop it. So it's turned up today. So this is a six kilogram automatic dry powder fire extinguisher, which is going to go up in the roof. And let me just put that down before I drop it. So what did that cost? 70 pound. And I would suggest that's one of the cheapest insurance policies that you could ever lay your money out on. That's probably a third of the average home insurance policy for a year in a house. That is big enough to do twice the volume that this garage holds. So it's well overkill for the area. It might not work. It might not save everything, but it's something that I can do in the hopes that if a fire does start, that's going to help at least buy some time, if not extinguish the fire. So. Yes, it's going to mean a big clean-up job. I'd rather be cleaning lots of dry powder off everything than having to do what Cliff's are currently doing, which is barrowing the entire contents of his workshop into a skip because it's all trash. So £70, no problem. It's here within two days. It will take me 10 minutes to fit it. No excuse not to do that. Another thing I've been thinking of, so this, you know, I live in Scotland, the laws changed as of the 1st of February in Scotland, so all smoke alarms now in the house have to be interlinked, and they have to be interlinked with um, heat alarms, so you need a heat alarm in the kitchen, smoke alarms in three other places, in all the passageways, landing, hallway, and in your room that you spend the most time in, i.e. your living room, and all of those smoke alarms and the heat alarm need to be linked together, so if one of them goes off, they all go off and I was looking at the specs of those as I was ordering the bits that I need to do to make my house comply with the latest regulations and for an extra 25 quid I've got another heat alarm that will go in here and that will be linked to the alarms in the house hopefully it says it's got an 80 meter range so that's far less than that to get to the alarms that are in the house so you know if something starts in here and it's the middle of the night all the alarms in the house should go off which gives me some prior warning so 70 quid for the extinguisher 25 quid for an additional heat alarm to go in here so less than 100 quid you know to to, to get a level of protection certainly makes me sleep easier in my bed at night so just some thoughts for other people and it was enough of a kick up the backside for me watching what's happened to poor cliff to say i need to do something because I, you know, if that ever happens to me, I want to at least be comfortable in my own skin that I've done as much as I can to make things as safe as possible. And I hope that's given some of you a kick up the backside to go and do the same thing so that you know, we don't get any more casualties like, like Cliff's just become. So, as I said, please check the link in the description. If you can contribute in any way, please contribute and spread the word and this video will not be monetized. I'm not going to do that on this video. I'm going to make sure it's switched off because that's not that's that, you know that's not something that I'd want to do. So yeah, it's just a midweek video thrown up there, asking for your help and support on behalf of Cliff. And thank you to anybody who can do whatever you can do in any small way to to help the guy out. He really needs it. All right, thank you very much. Normal service will be resumed hopefully next weekend and we'll catch you all then.